That's right, baby. That's right. 10 new pendulum cards that you probably didn't even know existed. But you know what? Your boy got you. Battles of Legend, Hero's Revenge. The pendulum hero is about to get his revenge. Enjoy the video. Konami, you used to not like me. I used to not like you. But now, we're all good. Konami, I forgive you. I forgive you. 10 new pendulum support cards that you know what? 99% of you probably don't even know. Let's get it. Pendulum Avengers! Assemble! I'm pretty sure I'm the only Pendulum Avenger slash player left in the world. But hey, if you're watching and you're part of the Pendulum Brotherhood, hit the subscribe button, guys, before we get started in the video. Hit the like button. Show support to the Pendulum Brotherhood. And we're going to win every event with these new cards. So without further ado, let's get started. Number one, or should I say number 60? Ha! <laughs> that joke number 60 Dugaris the timeless not just for pendulums but for anything okay ready here's what it does for those that can't like read the screen right here like it's literally right here put on your fucking glasses plain and simple here's what it does it has three effects you get to pick one of the three you're basically just gonna use the first one detach there's two two generic level fours one harmonizing magician whatever the hell you want two level fours skip your next drop phase irrelevant because you're gonna have 10 negates right draw two discard one what Draw two, discard one? Are you kidding me? Just generic two level fours? That's amazing. I don't care if you're about skipping my next drop phase. You're not playing through my infinity negates. You can put this guy up before you pendulum summon. You can put this guy up before you pendulum summon. Like, give any day how easy it is for two level fours. Like, I, I maybe not for you because you guys, like, you know, suck at, like, like Yu Gi Oh! all together. But if you're like, if you watch my videos, you know, like, one rescue rabbit could equal one card, draw two, discard one. Oh my god, what? What? Draw two, discard one. Sign me up, buddy. What the hell kind of amazingness is this? I don't care about missing my next draw phase. And I have 10 negates, so who cares? But Lambda over here, sign frame Lambda, is going to be the new card people are going to play in Pendulums, especially when LP gets banned, slash if it gets banned. This card is going to be the new savior that you it, uh, people that don't have a, a big brain like Shrift uh, over here uh, are going to just do this. Uh, it's very simple. So I know a lot of you are noobs, and that's okay if you're a noob. You know what? It's totally okay. There's a lot of Pendulum moves out there, like Jeremy Mitchell for one. It's okay. Your brain doesn't work very well, which means you can't do like... 17 plays in your turn one and instead you settle for uh you know a little two negate to a turbo board and then you go for one interruption or two that's okay that's totally okay lambda lets you do this so lambda is not going to be the new brain dead card for you guys that don't know how to actually play pendulum zone combo decks properly with that being said you don't have to go into 20 uh plays like i do and put up some crazy nine interruption boards and otk through five interruptions because you play these cards that's okay now you just play lambda now you harmonize it goes into omega electrum any random card goes into uh, lambda and you search Gamma. Now you can play Hand Traps main deck. Omega is going to equal the interruption for you. And Lambda is going to give you another interruption. So it's kind of a one card. Well, it's a free link to interruptions. It's a great card. Those two should see play everywhere. Next, the new BLS card. The BLS link right over here. BLS generic link three. Okay. This should see play as well. Uh, going first is easy. Everyone knows that. But you're going to need to set up cards in your uh, extra deck that are great for going second. You're just going to need to do it. And this card is amazing going second. Why? What's it do? Essentially, uh, after it attacks a monster, 3,000 attack, banish your card on the field. Or it can attack twice. That's amazing. Just generic, uh, link, uh, generic link 3. And if it's linked with a 7, uh, your opponent can't touch it. It's basically unaffected. So this card's amazing. I really uh, like this card. And I do see this card taking a lot of play and a lot of extra decks after. That's three cards already. I expect these three to be every, it's a staple in every extra deck. Dugaris might not be a stable, but has the most potential out of any of them. It has the most potential out of any of them. Like, we're talking draw two, discard Dark Worm, draw two, discard Destrudo, draw two, discard anything. Like, what? That's amazing. You could potentially play a Dangers now, uh, which I, I'm toying with the build. So it's like, you basically just draw two. It's like a pot of greed. Number four, All Eyes, Phantom Dragon. Wasn't this called God Eyes? I could have finally played a card called Pen God Eyes, Phantom Dragon and make it cool, but whatever. TCG, uh, whatever, fine. Now, at first, if you read this card, it looks kind of trash. You know, and that's what I thought too. It, it, it looked garbage. Its effect is, it's a negate. Get the Dark Worm. This is going to be pretty big, I think, when LP gets banned. Because when LP gets banned, Dark Worm won't be as necessary to have on field. Electrum, send all eyes phantom. Special all eyes phantom by getting the Dark Worm and the Electrum. Special summon for uh, harmonizing whatever your field is full now. You have a card in your extra deck, and you have four monsters beside the all eyes phantom. 
Now, the, uh, the card up front and some random card, you go into Lambda. You go into Harmonizing. So the new boards are gonna be like uh, Odd Eyes Phantom, Jackal, Omega, and Lambda. So it's four interruptions there that you can do by playing Odd Eyes Phantom. So see, just like that, even though LP's gone, you're still gonna have four interruptions thanks to Lambda and this card. Just like that, just like that. And you're just, oh, yeah, and Lambda, you're gonna have like Omega, like a uh, Gamma in hand, like. You're still gonna have follow ups, like just like that. So, you're gonna have four interruptions anyway, so have no fear, Pen God's here, right? You gotta think a little bit, just like that. You know, spell trap negate, uh, get rid of a uh, rip a card from their hand, a monster negate, and a, th a thing, just like that. And if you didn't use your normal summon, you can even put up another interruption. If you have Indy Man in your skill, another interruption. So, don't, don't worry, even up because Ban, we're okay. Uh, next, I'm gonna go through these ones a lot quicker now. We have five left. Those five or four are really gonna see play. I really, really believe they're gonna see play. This one I also believe is gonna see play, but you gotta be smart about this. It requires other cards that aren't just from this set. High speed roid kite drake. God's plan, baby, is to play this card in pendulums. Holy shit. Now let me tell you why you're gonna play this card in pendulums. You guys know the harmonizing Regeki card we play, harmonizing, uh, special pro poison, going to clear wing, supreme king, whatever, clear your opponent's monsters. How would I do you one better? Clear your opponent. Clear your opponent's entire board. What? 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 Clear your opponent's entire board? What? Destroy all cards your opponent controls. Now you might look at this card and think, how am I gonna make this triff? It says win, machine, whatever only. Yeah, guess what? New play for you guys. Electrum, send level two pendulum speedroid tuner to your extra deck. All your scales are one and two. Purple Poison, Gate Zero, whatever it may be. Special this bad boy out. Chronograph, Oath Dragon, whatever it may be on field. Synchro 8, good. After you, it, your opponent wastes all their interruptions on your real cards. Goodbye, goodbye, good friend, goodbye to your opponent's entire field. Au revoir to your field. It's gone. It's nice. It is a nice card, man. Next card on the list. This card... Don't knock it. Don't knock this idea until you try it. Who has read the Fortune Fairies? They all trigger their effects when they're special summoned from the hand. So rather than playing some garbage Fortune Fairy Fortune Lady list, where you can never special summon from your hand and give you level five bricks of Fortune Fairies in your card, they don't do anything but cry. How about you pendulum summon them from the hand and resolve all their effects? Plus one, plus one, plus one, plus one. Next card, another card that's a mash here. Now. I think this card's absolutely busted, and if you don't understand the power of it, you're fried. Trap Trick Zera. Now, if you're one of those lolly loving dweebs, I just don't like you. That that's, that's nothing to do with this card. I just don't like you. That, that's all. That, that's the only point there is there. But this card's amazing. It's a plus two. It's a plus two. You don't have to play all the garbage Trap Tricks cards. Just there's six of them that are good. Like three of cards. Like you play Mermilio, you play the other one that searches a trap tricks. Like there's, oh, there's so many trap tricks cards that are plus ones. They're all plus ones. You just summon one of them, get the plus one, okay? You get the plus one, and then you go Sarah and you plus two. You go free trap, uh, then it specials out another, specials out another trap trick card. That trap trick card gets an effect. Mermilio pop a card, because just pop a spell trap. You know what I mean? Like this deck, uh, Sarah is amazing. And you could literally, if uh, guard dragons get banned, you could play a mini, 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 mini Tractor's engine and have it destroy your opponent into oblivion. Next, another card that's gonna have great synergy, Magical Musketeer Max. People don't understand the power of this card. This card literally says special summon five cards from your deck if you want to, you know what I mean? If you're having trouble going second, just play the good Magical Musket, so three cast for three star fire, activate a scale, trigger the Magical Musket card, search whatever you need, destroy your, go with the max, they, if they don't have to try max, they lose. Max, push summon five cards, call it a day, good game, buddy. Like, it's absolutely amazing. Next card that I think could see some play in the future, not now, but I know I'm gonna create a crazy combo with this, it's this reptile, Epsiria, or whatever the hell you pronounce it. If this card is summoned, draw one card. Not special summon, not pendulum summon, not XYZ summon, not normal summon, just summoned. Summoned, draw one card. And it's a reptile. King of the Fair Olympus, anyone? Add this card for free, normal summon it, we'll do whatever you want with it, draw one card. Rebarian Shark, everyone? Anyone? You go Fair Olympus, Rebarian Shark, for example, for those who don't know what it does, Rebarian Shark, rank up card at the top of the deck. Reptile, uh, you search Reptile with Fair Olympus, normal summon this card, draw one card because it's a reptile. 
Thank you. I have now the rank up card. Now you have uh, those three monsters on board plus a link card to do link shenanigans with. Get a Utopia monster on board and then whoop your opponent into oblivion. Like, that's actually absolutely amazing. Like, that's fantastic. I could see some crazy combos to make it in the future. Not until you make cool combos, but even if you can just normal summon and draw one card, it's just a free plus one. It's a free plus one. Last card on our list is. Rank seven, Harmonizer Gradial. Hey, Harmonizing, me Harmonizer. Okay, this card right now, it's a new rank seven. Right now, it's good, very good versus Orcus. It shuts down the entire Orcus graveyard and they just cry. It shuts down Salamangrade's graveyards twice per turn, on your turn and on their turn. Quick effect. This card's actually great. Quick effect. Take a uh, monster from your opponent's graveyard and attach it to this card. You can use it on your turn, and their turn. Their, your opponent will never use their grave ever again. This card's great. Good luck using a graveyard. I should have put this card way up earlier in the ranking. Good luck ever using a graveyard, cause you're not. And you know what? Good luck ever playing Yu-Gi-Oh against pendulums, cause you're not doing that either. You gotta do your due diligence. You gotta do your due diligence. Do, do, do diligence, Triff English. Cause you don't know when new cards are gonna come out that'll help you out. Try these cards out in the dueling books and you'll see just how good it is. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys got this far and you guys are part of the Pendulum Brotherhood, you stick to the game plan, subscribe, and we'll see you in tomorrow's video. Peace.